Yep. Uh, share your screen. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make the stream announcement then. Alright, good luck. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so, uh... First of all, uh, sorry guys for the very long delay. We had some uh, issues. But, uh, we're here. We're here. Finally. Uh, welcome uh, to you guys to the grand finals of the Nordic Duo Catch Cup First Edition. Uh, don't forget to mute uh, Cosmic. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> between the uh, between the uh, so it's the grand, grand finals between uh, Freak You Cat and uh, uh, CBD Kittens and. Uh, Freaky Cat has the advantage over uh, CBD Kittens, which means that uh, if Freaky Cat wins, then they win the tournament. If CBD Kittens win, then there will be a bracket reset. Uh, also, uh, Cosmet, don't forget to stream me in the voice chat so I can actually see what's going on. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we missed the first nut, but which was a point for a freak you kept uh, in a uh, break point. This is the second nut, which is no mod free. Okay, I can see it now. And uh, yeah, from I haven't seen the map, but from the looks of it, it looked like a very interesting map. But anyways, it's going to be a second point for uh, Free, Free Q Cat, and this was not as close as the previous map, but two misses from uh, Kaguya. Very, very good score. But this was for cute cat's pick, so it makes makes sense. Okay, oh, the bands. That's right. I, oh, okay. Um. Uh. uh HR one was banned. Uh, hidden 2, uh, Adularescence, which is uh, double time 2, and 5 centimeters per second, which is double time 3. Yeah, there you go. You, the fans have are on screen now. Uh, and yeah, HR free respect. Uh, and um, no more free. And now Janos uh, Advento is picked, which is uh, HR free. Yeah, no. Uh, wait. Okay. The first map pick was Freestyler, which... <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's very difficult <laughs> to get into a... a match where you haven't seen the beginning. Double Time 4 was picked first, then Nomad Free, then HR Free. Okay. Now it's HR Free. And as I said, I couldn't tell you uh, what the maps look like. Fortunately, didn't check the map pool. Uh, but I'm, sh I'm sure you guys know a lot more about these maps than I do. Um, I'll just uh, also say the 
players for each team, just to be sure. Uh, Freaky you Cat has a uh, Ash Ketchum, Fob, and Kaguya, while CBD Kins have Lane of Caroline and Benita. Yeah, I guess that's unfortunate, but I mean, I guess I feel like it's, for some players, I feel like it's easier to play in solo than multiplayer. And for some some players, they're better in multi than in solo. It's, it's pretty much my case that I play, I'm always terrible in solo. <laughs> I mean, I always do better in multi, that's, that's a good thing, but... It's very annoying. But that's just that's just how the game works, fortunately. Basing basing ourselves on how consistent we can be on one map, just not not in like the best performance or even how many times we had like an FC on a map. Okay, we're gonna get started. Okay, first miss from Ash Ketchum. And Kage will follow. This will give an early lead to CBD Kittens. Carrot line with the first miss for Boichi. But it was traded by Kage, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna see that cre that crepper. <laughs> Carrot line will find another miss. Lena will drop too. Ash Kitchen will miss as well. Kaya too, so better start for CBD Kids, so the scores are pretty close. Oof, but this miss will do a lot for for a freaky cat. They missed like a whole st stack almost. Okay, at the break, uh, about 40k, 40k score difference, 45k. And Fob get in! In the middle of the map, Fob gets in. There you go. Oh, Leno and Kaguya will trade. Ash Ketchum and Caroline have the combos. Leno will miss again. So, oof! Uh, combo reset for everyone. And this is very good for CBD Kittens, since they are in the lead for now. But Carrot Line will miss. And the score will uh, shrink slowly in favor of Freaky Cat, but still, for now, uh, CBD Kittens are in the lead. Oh, three misses! And uh, the only player who passed that part was Lane, but unfortunately he missed right after. And Carrot Line this time will be the one to miss the stack. Carrot Line will miss again. 
but Ash Kitchen will trade. The, the lead is not as big as it was before, it's going to be even smaller with the lane missing. Oh, but team miss for Trick Your Cat. This is very close. Caroline will miss. Okay, there is not much of the map left. Ash Kitchen will miss. I don't know if that's going to seal it, but CBD Kittens, kittens will need, would need to choke very badly for it to end. For it to end being on Tricky Cat's side. Uh, they're gonna have a team miss, but. Oof, triple miss. Uh, only Ash Kitchen. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's shrinking, it's going back to see the freak you can- Oh, but that pattern killed all the combos. It's gonna be a first point for CBD Kittens. Nice. Uh, they were in the lead for the whole map, but it was, it was still pretty close. There was a 22k score difference. Um, pretty good scores overall, honestly, like... 15 to 26 misses. Pretty good. But will be it will be it will be enough for CBD Kittens to win uh, their first point. It's true, two, two grand final teams are cat related. Very true. That's good, kittens could apply to both teams. I mean, I guess one has cat in the name and the other has kittens. Let's see what we can get the sites to pick. And it's Mystery Mod 2. And it's going to be rolling 5. Uh, uh, no. Free, free, free. Okay, free. So it's. I don't know why my my uh, stream uh, the stream I get on Discord is very pixelated, so it's very hard to read. Uh, but that's just that's just probably from my end. So what is it free again? Looks like it's gonna be HR if I look at what's being said on the. In the chat, HR. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so the map in no mod is yes, six point one. <laughs> so add that with HR. Um, that makes seven point. Eight or something. I uh yes, thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, now I, I can actually read, guys. It's amazing. Okay. Um. Yes, yes, should be. <laughs> 7.8 or something along those lines, which, which is always fun. Uh, 
don't stop till the club go silent. And yeah, it's yeah. It's, yes, uh, seven point eight plus AR ten. So players are going to suffer. <laughs> Kogia wanted as well. That's. You have the opposite, exactly. Very unfortunate, but we'll just have to play, play with it. Okay, that, that's easy enough with HR. It's very easy when the Fruits are as small to miss one, like miss one. Even, yeah, as you can see with Leno, he was very close to the fruit, but he still missed. Kakia <laughs> will hold your heart. Uh, and Leno will, miss, will uh, drop his combo as well. And see with Carrot Lane, missed early, but triple miss Carrot Lane. Oh my god, that's very sad. Carrot Lane's the only one who passed that, but. Okay, now two misses for CBD Kittens. And Kage will miss. Ash Ketchum is the one who's doing best for now. Oh, and I get, once again a triple miss, but yeah, those, those patterns are very hard to stay. It's probably better to try and move your, move your catcher. But I, I don't know, I haven't played the maps. But. Looks very hard to stay. <laughs> Looks very hard to wiggle as well, but... Oh, very unfortunate miss for Carrot Line and Lena will follow. Okay, we'll drop in. Once again, Ash catch on the player with the highest combo, though he's gonna drop it just like everyone. And yeah, considering how far we are into the map and the difference, the score difference between both teams, uh, this is a tricky cat point for sure. Oh my god, so spatters with HR. Once again, like CS 7.8 and AR 10. Always super complicated too to get, especially like with how small the fruits are and how how much your catcher moves with like a single touch of <laughs> single touch on your keyboard. And uh, yeah, uh, point for Frick you get. 22 misses from Ash Kitchen is the best score of the lobby. And yeah, uh, third point for the red team. Next pick for CBD Kittens. It's probably one of the worst songs you've ever heard. Joke's on you, I can't hear it, so. Lucky. <laughs> No, I'm I'm lucky I can't hear if it if it gets big I, I wouldn't he be able to hear HR too. That's that's the best thing. Double time one, okay. Hmm. Which is uh uh I don't know if it's Jue or Yue. Uh I know the map in no mod. It's very complicated. <laughs> so in double time, sounds even worse. AR 8.5, so considering the caliber of the players, it's, the AR, AR is not going to be an issue, but the map in general will.
Okay, well, collect two old pairs and we're gonna get started with this one in a bit. Anyways, uh, just <laughs> hope you guys uh, had a, uh, had a good day. Trying to to gain some time before the map starts. <laughs> and that you're uh, excited for the rest of this grand finals match, of course, always. There you go. Can I get started with the uh, double time one? Good song though, v very good song. It's a shame when you get good songs on double on double time, but still banger song. Yeah, well, probably that's a the theme for like most tournaments. But banger songs and double time. And I'm like, why? Why would you do that? Oh, first miss for Caroline. Yeah. Uh, Ash, Ketchum, Kaguya, and Leno still holding on to our thriller combos. And as I say, that Ash Ketchum will miss. He missed twice, actually, so this might give the edge to CBD Kittens. But, uh,. Oh, a trade with Lenu and Kaguya. Kaguya will miss again, but Lenu will too, and in Ryoka, so... Oof. And too bad Ashkachim didn't catch that one, because otherwise he would have been the only one to hold the combo. But yeah, no, this part is... Oh my god. This part is so difficult. Ashkachim and Kaguya managed to hold some combo. Carrot line now with the highest combo. But gonna miss. Yeah, it's. Definitely not. Uh, not double time friendly. <laughs> Pretty much misses everywhere. There's a 50k score difference. Oh, with Caroline miss, the score difference will, will shrink slightly. Um, but still, an advantage for CBD Kittens. But the end of the map is an E or so, they would need another miss. It looks like the end patterns are pretty easy, but Lainu missing. If that's the end, then it's fine. Yeah, okay. And it's gonna be a second point for CBD CBD Kittens. Uh, so pretty good scores overall, considering how <laughs> how difficult that map looks with <laughs> double time and not wasting time for break your cat. They'll be picking hidden free. Midnight Theater, it's AR8. It's 
time for... Okay, yeah, time for FOP to enter the lobby. <laughs> Low AR map. There was also Hidden 2 as low AR, but I do, I do believe it was banned. Yeah, it was. And Benita, Benita will also enter. Eight, but seven points to win. Uh, so that's a best of fifth. Thirteen. <laughs> best of thirteen. Okay, there we go. It's gonna get started with a hidden free, the sixth map of the match. Oh, we have one screen which isn't there. Kaguya. Okay. A simple re refresh will. Fix that. Looks like uh, Benita missed early, early, and we'll find another miss. Uh, Kagu and Fabol drop. Uh, Problem is on the other end. Benita is having some trouble on the map too. Uh, Leno still holding the FC. Okay, the score difference is smaller since two players missed on Ricky Cat's side, but Benita will find another miss and Leno will drop, so this will give the advantage to Ricky Cat definitely. Both players on the red team getting to 200 combo, but Kaguya will drop, traded by Benita. Top is holding the comma now. Lena will miss. Bonita will miss as well, and now it's not looking good for CBD Kittens. It's gonna get to 150k score difference, so still they could still try and win the point, but. Considering the other team has been doing much better uh, at the beginning there. Oh, maybe. Oh, but no. It's, it was a combo reset for everyone, so it wouldn't have mattered. And yeah, CBDKins missed a lot more as well, so the score difference is even bigger now. Honestly, I think that's already over for CDKins for this point, uh, considering the score difference and the amount of time left. But yeah, good effort, but not gonna be enough. Kaguya was traded by it was traded earlier by Benita. Fab the only one at 200 combo. Typical.
And yeah, it's gonna be a 40 point for for a QCAT. Score difference was very big, but it's just makes sense considering the considering there was a 900 k on one side and a 500 k on the other side but so good effort from cbdkins wasn't enough unfortunately two misses from fob very good score very very good score And 10 miss is already is also good. I didn't I didn't say it, but yeah, it's it's also pretty good. <laughs> Can't even hear it. The yeah, the banjo was apparently being a DJ. Do you think it will get fixed when the next map will be picked? And Lane rules. <laughs> no, but four. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be in the garden. A convert mapped by Unlimit. And uh, I do believe it was, yeah, carrot line uh, switched back in. There was a three misses uh, early from Ash Kitchen, Caroline, and Lane. Uh, Kage is still holding the FC. So Ash Kitchen will find this. Uh, this will give the advantage to. Significance. Oh, Kaguya missed. And another one uh, from them. The play new traded with a uh, Ash Kitchen, and that's Carrot Line with the highest combo. So, 
big combo on, on the board. Okay, everyone back at 200 combos, if the score difference will stay as it is for now. It's like a 60k, so it's still manageable. Ash gets on this. Once again, but it's traded by Terrifying. Another miss. And a 100k score difference uh, with about a fourth of the map left. It's going to be very difficult. Or Freaky Cat to win this point. Especially with Ash Kitchen missing again, Lane will trade, but yeah, no, it's not going to happen. It's going to be a third point for Sigi to Kent. Even if they missed at the end there, but it won't matter. Kaguya has a very good score, it's fortunate. Ash Kitchen wasn't able to follow. Yeah, four misses from from Kaguya, six from Lainu, three from Caroline, and yeah, in the two digits for Ash Kitchen. That's very unfortunate, but oh yeah, I, I probably if he does if he does play in a pub, yeah, that's or. Or like any anywhere, I don't, I don't know where he's playing. <laughs> Ash, um, Ash Ketchum is the. Oh, oh, I'm so grateful, guys. They picked HR two, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have to hear the song. It's amazing. Um, Ash Ketchum is uh, a character from the uh, Pokemon anime, I, I believe so. Yeah, this map mapped by Vinx. <laughs> I didn't even know he had mapped this torture. <laughs> Not only is this Despacito, but it's speed up edit as well. I don't care that it's French, whatever. Despacito, speed up edit. No. Why would you do that? It's Nightcore. Uh, yes, I know. Speed up. It's Nightcore. I think I, I like heard this song once, uh, like a bit, like when it came out, uh, the cover, and I was like, I already did, I already didn't like 
Despacito, so the, fa the fact that I, I could now understand the lyrics uh, didn't make it better. Yeah, even Cosmet said in the general staff that maybe maybe you should mute the music, which uh, I would I would honestly say I would have honestly said yes if I was part of the, part of the part of the hosts, but Sice have said nah. I, I I didn't play it because I'm not play I'm not playing this. I I can't play without the sound because that's like the base. The basis of a of a rhythm game is playing with the music. Otherwise, it really has no point. At least to me, people can do whatever they want. But to me, that's the case. And the hit sounds, yeah. There's still part of how what people do when they make the map. So I still like to keep the hit sounds. Uh, and whatever, uh, it doesn't matter what I think, because we had a few few misses uh, with Fob and Lainu. Caroline did miss now. Uh, Ash Ketchum is the only one holding the FC. And I can't hear the music because I have the Twitch chat on my phone on the side and I don't have the music with the Discord stream, fortunately. Lainu and Fob will trade. I mean, not surprising, Vinks is probably OG, I guess. I'm guessing, at least I do think he been playing the game for a while. Care if my will miss. Uh, and Ash Ketchum will follow. I do believe Ash Ketchum was FCing. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a fifth point for for a QK. Do you like what you see? Okay, with a six sixty-nine K nice uh score difference. Yeah, best score from Ash Ketchum with, um, oh, it's pixelated again. It's because of me, I know it. I think it's three misses, or two misses. Hmm. I'm gonna check it, don't worry. Two misses, okay. Five three now, uh, HR four, which is a uh, group uh, Chablon. Uh, let's see, convert HR. Also for the French Chabous listening, uh, Chablon means white cat. So, it's the title of the song. 
Well, it's Sha means cat and Law means white. And it's pretty fitting, uh, considering we have Freak Your Cat versus TD Kittens. Yes, 5.3, okay, I didn't see that. So it's 6.89 with HR applied, which makes the nose very small. So I hope... <laughs> Just saying that now, if the if Freak You Cat ends up winning, um, I don't know if I'll be able to do the outro, the outro for everything. I hope Ash Ketchum will come back. Kaguya, Lainu, and Caroline will drop early. Uh, Ash Kitchen, uh, so I'm best, but the advantage is for CBD Kittens, since, um, Kaguya struggled a bit more than the others. Uh, Carrot Line will miss, though, but a double, a team miss for Freak UK. Oh, and, oh, everyone's missed, actually. There's no combos left. Everyone trying to rebuild their combos, but Kaguya will miss. Lena will trade. Carrot Line will miss as well. Now the advantage is for Fuck You Cat. Lena will miss. Uh, Ash Kitchen will trade, and Kaguya will miss as well. It's very late into the map though, and the advantage is still for Fuck You Cat. But Kaguya with those misses at the end there could be detrimental. But oh my god, that's very close. But that is a point for Freak you get, which now puts him at 6-3. And at match point. Three misses for Ash Kitchen, that's a very good score. Very, very good score. And now, since this was a breakpoint as well, Freak You Cat can uh, put the final nail in the coffin if they pick the right map. <laughs> it's <laughs> going to be picking Mystery Mod 1. And four. Um, what is four? What is four? Four is double time. Yes, so this will be interesting. Interesting. Okay, double time. Okay, the mapper is here. Welcome. Potentially the last map of the map, last map played in the tournament as well. I, I do think there will be the tiebreaker showcase, maybe. But yeah, potentially last 
about to play it as the. That's my plate of the tournament, which, which actually matters, maybe. Unless CBD Kins manage to get a breakpoint, then this will continue. It's AR9 double time, so very complicated. And what the hell is that background? Late, uh, very already, I, I be do believe everyone missed for now at least once. Yeah, everyone's trying not to. Everyone, uh, everyone died. <laughs> Sorry, is this with double time? I don't know. It's 5.85 on robots, so about seven or eight. I'm not. I can't. I'm not very bad at converting high SR with double time. 8.3, yeah, with double time. Very tough, and uh, CBD Kins do have a lead. 5.85 times 1.5. I can't, I can't calculate that. I'm I'm dumb. That doesn't work. Not because you, not because the not because the music and map map speeds is time times 1.5. The star rating. <laughs> B1.5 And it's gonna be a fourth point for CBD Kittens who will win this breakpoint, so pretty good. Um Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Uh the scores are a bit uh not, are not so great, but makes sense. This is probably one of the hardest maps in the pool, I think, with double time applied. Carrot line still with a B, so that's something that's a pass. There's, there's a part of me that wants to see this go to the tiebreaker. Uh, and then there's a part of me which wants to eat. <laughs> uh, no matter what. Um, okay, it's, it's uh, Imperial Circus that beckons. Um, Shinbatsu Otadori Kyuko Tsumi Taru nailed that. But by Rusty, and it's a custom map as well. It's very nice. 4 minutes and 23 seconds. Also, once again, potentially the last map of the tournament. If 3Q Cat wins at this point, then they have won the match and the tournament.
Okay. With Fop taking out it, taking out his blanket, now we're ready to start. And only because of that. Okay. And early okay, no no early is from character line is still Bancho uh, Bancho Bud. Fob will have the first miss, but it will be followed by Leno. Caroline and Ash Kitchen still holding on to the FP FC, though the map is very long. Still a long way to go. Oh, but Carrot Mine will miss. This will give the advantage to Frick You Cat. Score difference is very small, but that makes sense considering how long the map is. There's only, I think, one miss in terms of difference, which is nothing. If one player misses a stack on the other side, then it could go back to CBD Kittens. will make the advantage grow even further. And uh, I do think Ash Ketchum is still holding on to the FC. We're halfway through the map. Carrot Line and Fob traded, but Lane didn't miss right after, so this will give the advantage to Frick to get in now. Carrot Line's having some trouble building up a combo, but they're still not out of it yet. So Ash gets a missed, so it's good. Ah, uh, fortunate that Carrot Line didn't miss there. Carrot Line and Fob traded. Fuck Ash Kitchen, you missed. You missed on the, on the four minute map? Wow, what a joke. Okay. Fob missed. Okay, this. Oh, I was gonna say this could give this could give CD Kidden some some edge, but no. Nope. Uh careful on this. Yeah, it's very unfortunate Kagia weren't able to play any maps for this match, that's very sad. And yeah, with that, uh, that's it. Uh, GG well played uh, to both teams, but this will be a win for Freaky Cat, who have won uh, Nordic Duo Catch Cup.
uh, congratulations to them and also to their opponents, CBD Kins, who did very well and will end up in second place. Very, very good. We have our great winners now. Um, okay. There we go. Uh, I guess I will be doing the outro. Um, unless host wants to join in. Um, well, uh, first of all, uh, congrats, of course, to Freaky Cat for winning the whole tournament. Uh, there are, uh, of course, prizes for the players. Um, and I will check the forum post. If the, if the prizes have changed, uh, I don't know that, and I will base myself on the forum post. Uh, third place of the tournament, which uh, is um, uh, Pineapple Pizza, will get four months of supporter, so GD well played to you guys. Uh, second place is uh, CBD Kittens, who will have uh, six months of supporter. And uh, first place will go to uh, Freak You Cat, of course. We will have eight months of supporter plus a banner. So it's very nice. And uh, yeah, uh, of course, uh, I will be thanking the staff for the whole tournament because without the staff, the tournament is not uh, possible. So let me just look at the staff list so I don't miss any role. Uh, thank, thank you to the streamers, uh, the uh, other casters, the referees, the referees, the Schedulers, the map poolers, the graphic designer, the playtesters, the custom mappers, and the chat moderators as well. Without you guys, this tournament wouldn't be uh, as good as it was. And uh, also thank you to the players, of course, uh, for participating in the tournament, because without players, there wouldn't even be a tournament. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, shout out to uh, the all the people who watch the different streams uh, of this tournament uh, because uh, it's always uh, better to have a, an animated uh, chat. Uh, always more exciting. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll be, we'll be ending this one here. I think I've said everything I need to say. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there will be other tournaments made by the Nordic community, which uh, is very dedicated to Making a lot, a lot of tournament, a lot of, of different. Sorry, okay. To <laughs> making a lot of different tournaments, um, which is uh, always uh, nice to see. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll be seeing you guys uh, pretty soon, I think. Um, and yeah, I'll be ending this one here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll be seeing you, seeing you for another tournament. Bye, guys.